is your girl Jen Seen, aka Jungle Naps. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you again. So for today's look, we are going to create this beautiful bronze smoky eye. And we're also going to uh, create this dark sultry lip look. If you're brand spanking new to my channel and you like beauty videos, I do upload three times a week. So you might as well go ahead and subscribe because you're bound to find something that you like. I do tutorials, hauls, um, reviews, all that good stuff. So I've got a couple new items that I bought recently sprinkled into this kind of like tutorial slash get ready with me style video. I hope you guys like it. For all my oldie boogity subbies, thank you guys for coming back and spending your time with me. I love you guys. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Okay, you guys, so let's get this party started. I'm actually, for once, going to include my brow routine because it always takes me like forever. Um, I'm gonna start with Benefit Cabrow in the shade six. Now, this product is definitely good for outlining the brows and then filling them in. Now, if you wanna use more detailed work, you can go in with a pencil brush. Now when I go in from the top guys, I don't even start from the beginning. I start like a little bit back and then get that sharp line. And then once I have just a little bit left, I go back in the front and brush the hairs up and just blend everything together. Now for more detailed work, I'm gonna use the uh, Precisely My Brow in the same shade as the Cabrow, it's the number six. And this I just use to like lightly fill anything in, do any work at the front of my brows and also at the end of my brows. So one of my favorite primers, I always, 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 always go in with the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish. And I think this is a lot of people's favorites uh, just because it works so damn well. And especially if you're like me and you have oily lids, Man, this just keeps everything on like a freaking dream. So when I sat down today, I was thinking, I was like, what kind of makeup look do I want to do? And I thought it'd be really nice if I stuck with like mainly one palette for the tutorial because then you guys could follow along and that way, you know, it'd just be easy. Isn't it kind of nice when you can use minimal products to achieve a look? I think so, at least. Um, so to set my primer, I'm going in with this metal shade right here. And I'm just going to take that flesh tone shade and use a nice big fluffy brush to just go ahead and set it because I really want to make sure it doesn't have like a you know, brighter shade than my actual skin tone. I want to keep it pretty neutral. And once that's set, I'm going to go into this like mauve like semi my skin tone shade and I'm going to use that as the first transition shade. And it gives just like a slight hint of like discoloration to the skin, not in like a bad way, but it just kind of looks more natural how like someone else's eyes would look like, you know, if they had more deep set eyes. And you really want to like buff that out really, really well. Now I'm going to go into this like lighter shade here. It's like a peachy color right here. And I'm going to deposit that just below that transition shade. And it's going to kind of warm it up. I want that nice peachy tone on my skin and see how nicely it spreads out guys. It's so one thing I love about this palette is everything just spreads like butter. Okay, so now that I have that like lightish transition, now we can go on with those bronzy tones. Um, Honestly, I haven't actually created a bronze eye with this palette, which is really surprising because it does have a lot of like bronze, brown tones, warm tones, you know? So first I'm gonna take this small little detailed brush and I'm going to grab my concealer. I'm gonna use the NARS Soft Matte and I'm gonna use this to carve out a uh, spot on my lids. That way I can deposit the lid color and it's gonna be really, really vibrant 
And if you have hooded eyes like me, this is just a really nice technique to make your eyeshadow be more noticeable. Now, once that's nice and carved out, you want to take a loose setting powder. I'm using the Derma Blend Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm going to take a blending brush. This is the Morphe M502. Just kind of tap it off. Just want a light coating, you know? Like, you don't want to go wild with it on there. And then you want to set that concealer. Just tap it and really push it in there so it doesn't fold into your creases. Okay, so now we're gonna go into that bronzy shade and this one right here, all the way at the end, we're gonna dip a wet brush. So this is a flat brush. God, honestly, I don't know, I've had it for so long. I'm gonna take my Milani setting spray, spritz that, and then dip it into the shade. And when I do that, what that does is it makes this go on almost like metallic. It's just really beautiful. So here we've got the first initial part, and as you can see, this really looks, it's like super golden. I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. Now, I'm gonna use that same brush, but the other side, and I'm going to spritz it with my Milani. And then I'm going to dip it into the darker brown shimmer shade here and put that on the outer corner. So from the bottom, we're going to go ahead and angle this upwards because I do have hooded eyes. They just tend to look really small and this kind of helps my eyes look bigger. Now, I decided that I wanted to deepen this even more. So I'm taking this e.l.f. crease brush and then I'm going into this like brownish reddish shade whatever that's called right there <laughs> and then i'm going into the transition area but sticking in the outer part of my eye okay so now that that's done i'm going to pop on a bit of a liner and lashes and i'll be right back so my liner and my lashes are done now before i do my brows before I do my eyes I always like to prime my face just so it sits there it has enough time to sink into my skin so on my oily areas I use the elf mattifying balm and I put that on my t-zone down my nose and my chin now right around my cheeks and then also the corners of my nose I put the benefit pore professional primer so right around here and in here because I tend to get those pores and just you know a lot of texture then on the outsides of my face and also I took it up here too I use the makeup forever uh, hydrating primer step one and yeah I like using primer you know concoctions because I feel like since I do have combination skin my skin is definitely different in different areas so I like to treat that appropriately instead of applying one to just the whole thing you know what I mean so before we go to foundation I really kind of want more of a glowy look when I'm like out and about so I'm gonna use the MAC strobe cream this is my first time using it and I really wanted to try this technique after I saw Desi Perkins uh, you know basically do this so I'm gonna put this on my cheeks and the outer parts of my face leaving it away from the oily parts because I don't want my oily parts to look shinier than they would you know what I mean now this cream is more of an illuminating cream it's supposed to kind of give your foundation that really nice kind of faux glowy look so you're supposed to put it underneath and then layer your foundation and the rest of your face products on top Do you guys see how nice and like luminescent that looks? Ugh, I'm like obsessed with it. I love it. <laughs> Next, I'm taking concealer. I'm taking the NARS uh, Soft Matte and applying it down my nose, forehead, and then I'm gonna take that and also apply it under my eyes. Now, I really take my time with this brush to deposit it, and I use the beauty sponge to gently pat it in, and I apply more in the areas under my eyes where I need more coverage. Now it's time for my Laura Mercier, and I'm just going to pat that gently under the eye and then sweep away any excess. Now that the um, highlighted points of my face are powdered, I'm gonna go in with my cream contour and go right through the cheekbones. 
And I've really been feeling just doing cream only. I just feel like it just looks so nice. You just gotta be sure to set it, you know? If you don't set it, then uh-uh. Now, with the Lancome Translucence Powder, I'm using the shade 500. I'm just going to go in really lightly with it because I don't want my face to have a lot of powder on it or look like it has a lot of powder. Ooh, so I'm really excited about this. I got a MAC Extra Dimensional Skin Finish in the shade Oh Darling. Ugh, I just... I've been wanting this highlight for so long and I've just been staring at it every time I go to MAC. and. You know, yesterday when I stopped in the Macy's by my house, I was like, you know what? I'm getting it. I'm getting it this time. Not that I actually need a lot of highlighter. I mean, I already have a bunch already. <laughs> so I'm taking my fan brush and just going on the natural highlighted points. And oh my goodness, this just blends so nicely. It has a very, very smooth texture that not a lot of highlights have, and it's not overly gold toned. It's just, it's really beautiful. I almost feel like I just wanna like bathe myself in this highlight, guys. It's so beautiful, and I really love the like smooth formula that MAC has. It's just, ooh, man. For blush, I'm going in with an old favorite of mine. This is from Milani. And here it is here. It's called Rose Doro. Now, for a long time, I was like really not feeling shimmery shades of blush, but I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling it. Let's do this. In the name of the glow. <laughs> so I'm using this Luxie uh, angled top buffer brush. Just really being gentle. Ugh. And now I remember why I love it so much. It's so beautiful. Definitely has a shimmer to it though. I'm gonna go in with some setting powder, the Milani Make It Dewy. I like really went wild with it. <laughs> so I brought you guys a tad bit closer while I do my lips because I really wanted you guys to see it. I just purchased Night Moth from MAC. It's this beautiful like dark berry, dark red kind of shade. And I'm going to use that to outline my lips. So now that my whole lip is outlined and filled in with Night Moth, which in itself is a beautiful, beautiful shade, I'm going to go in with a classic Ruby Woo. And they told me that this is like special packaging. I'm not sure. It didn't say what on it, but that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> and now I'm going to use the Dose of Colors over the top uh, lip gloss to just kind of give this like a nice sheen. This is the final look that I created and I just love how like it's just sultry, like it speaks to me. Um, I really hope that you guys like this as well and if you guys decide that you want to recreate this, please go ahead and tag me on Instagram. My handle is at Jungle Maps. So yeah, um, I'm fixing to go and go to the grocery store in this makeup. So <laughs> that's what I'm about to do. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also, um, if you're feeling like you want to go ahead and watch some other videos, I do have some other videos right here. And go ahead and make sure you're subscribed. Sometimes I gotta ask you guys if you are because, hey, it all slips our minds. You've been watching your channel for a long time and then you're like, oh, am I subscribed? What the heck? <laughs> so yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.